Hello, today we're going to show you how to directly mount a Surefire Pro light to the side of your FNP or PS90 upper receiver. We're going to do that using an HB Industries mounting bracket. It's a direct mount for any of the Surefire Pro series light bodies. The Surefire Pro series includes several different sizes of lights. These are probably going to be the two most popular for this platform. This would be the mini and this one would be in my right hand would be the micro. You can kind of see what's going to happen at this point, right? We're going to take the, the Surefire body and, again, directly couple it to a mount that allows us to get a clean, low-profile low integration of the light body and the light itself into our upper receiver on the PS90. The Surefire Pro mounts, or pro, I should say Pro bodies on the lights, are most easily identified by these two kind of clevis brackets that come up and off of the mount or off of the light body itself. For this installation, I'm going to go ahead and use the, the mini light. You can see they would typically come with a bracket installed. This will be a 1913 bracket. There's also an M-lock mounting bracket. And so we're going to remove the Surefire mounting plate or mounting bracket and replace it with the HB Industries mounting bracket. So to go ahead and get started, let's look at what we're going to need. In addition to a light, we're also going to need the HB Industries mount, of course. So when you get your mount, it's going to come with the obviously the mount itself and some hardware. The hardware is just going to be two screws and a three millimeter hex or Allen key wrench that will be used to install the screws. The three millimeter hex key happens to be the same tool that you would use on any of the other screws on your PS90. The nice thing about that is that our Surefire light actually will use an eighth inch hex key, but it's very, very similar to a three millimeter key. So if you have an eighth inch Allen key, go ahead and grab that so you can disassemble your light. If you don't have an eighth inch Allen key, you can use the three millimeter key that would be supplied with the bracket. So let's go ahead and get started here. Now that we have our slam mat, we've got our parts, our tools, and obviously our PS90. So first thing is going to be to make sure your PS90 is clear. Let's go ahead and check the check the chamber and the breech. No magazine. I am going to opt to install the light, I think, on the right-hand side. I'm a right-handed shooter, so I'm going to probably like the light on the right and then maybe a pressure switch on the left. So the first thing that we're going to do is install the mounting bracket. The mounting bracket can be installed, again, on either the right or the left. It is symmetric. I'm going to choose to install the light on, again, on the right side. We're going to use our two supplied screws. We don't need to use thread locker. I'm going to go ahead and do it because it's my preference. None of the screws on the PS90 come from the factory with thread lock on them. It may not be necessary, but again, for this installation, I'm going to go ahead and prefer the use of thread lock. I'll use my three millimeter Allen key to tighten my screws on the light mount bracket. You can go until they're snug, but if you want to be sure of the torque, you can use the torque wrench. The torque spec on these is going to be either 10 inch pounds or 1.2 newton meters. Check them both to make sure. With the light bracket installed, the, the, the light mounting bracket installed, we're going to go ahead and install our light body now. On some of the lights, again, for example, on the on your mini, you can get directly to the screw, but on any light, or sorry, this is the micro, but on any light that's got either the mini or the full-size scout light, it's going to have a head on it. The head's going to prevent you from removing your, your screw all the way. So unscrew the head off your off your light body remove the battery and then you can remove the surefire the pivot screw or the clevis screw it's going to be the the screw that retains the mounting bracket for the surefire light so this could be a 1913 the lights come with the 1913 or a m-lock style mounting bracket go ahead and remove that and we're going to directly mount again our surefire body to our HB Industries light bracket. 
flight mount bracket. If it's a tight fit and you find that the nut inside of the Surefire body is not moving freely, you can kind of use the threads on the on your screw to bump it around. Here you can kind of see the nut is now moving freely or before it didn't. You can you can tap on the head of your screw to kind of free the nut up if it's tight from the factory. Or if you've installed it on another platform and you've really snugged it down and kind of pulled the nut too far forward, use the screw to free it up. Um, so go ahead and install your your light body onto the onto the mount. I'm gonna again use a little bit of blue Loctite on the factory Surefire screw. We'll reuse the, the factory Surefire screw again. So go ahead and install your screw. I'm using the eighth inch key here, but if you do not have an eighth inch key available, the three millimeter key will also fit that, that eighth inch hex. I'm not gonna snug it down yet. I'm gonna let the light keep the ability for light to rotate. Cause what I wanna do, I'll kind of reinstall my head real quick on the, on the light body, leaving the battery out. I wanna make sure we have clearance. So we're gonna, we want it to be as tight to the upper receiver as possible, or I do for my installation but not touching it. So this would be a good position. If you wanted to run the light on the lower on the lower kind of half of the mount, I would recommend that you go ahead and check magazine clearance, see if we can show it real quick. I'm gonna recommend that we, again, ensuring the gun is clear and safe. We're gonna check that we have clearance to our magazine there are light heads. Some of the aftermarket light heads will interfere with the PS90 magazine. So as you're installing your lighter, trying to figure out where you want the final position to be, go ahead and check the of magazine clearance. Once you ensure that you do have clearance to the magazine and that your magazine can be removed and installed freely and smoothly, kind of note the position of your light and we're gonna go back, remove the light head. We're going to torque our, our the eighth inch drive Surefire screw down. We'll put the battery in and our light head back on. And then final function of course would just be to make sure your light works and You've still got good, good magazine, good magazine clearance. And you would be good to go on the light mount. The last, I guess the last kind of thing I'll kind of maybe mention is that when using the Surefire Pro lights, there's a couple different tail caps and a couple different press, pressure switch options. The kind of the momentary single function Surefire pressure switches fit really nicely through, I'll kind of show it here, through the upper receiver, through the slot in the upper receiver on the PS90. So it's it's really easy to either tape a switch or we do have some other mounts available that would let you put a switch up top and reach your light. So just kind of FYI, if you're looking at lights for your PS90, do know that you can easily run the Surefire the on off or the momentary switch directly through the upper receiver of the PS90. This is gonna complete our direct light mount installation for the Surefire Pro body onto the FNP or PS90. Thank you for watching and please don't hesitate to reach out to us with any questions.